the, the, the same sort of lie I would tell myself every time I got up. Today's going to be the day you're going to win, you're going to start winning it all back. Gambling was the only way out. My first bet was when I was 17. I put a £2 bet on and I won 350 quid. It quickly started affecting my life and I ended up getting thrown out of college, went into full-time employment and sort of became obsessed with money. My life for the next few years was getting paid on a Thursday and then going out drinking and gambling Friday, Saturday, Sunday, being skint on a Monday and then doing it all again the next week. It was when I was 23 that I'd run out of financial institutions and friends and family to borrow from. I basically woke up and said, right, I'm going to win everything back with the little money that I've got or I'm going to kill myself. This particular day, I just lost everything. Not one winning bet came in and I walked up onto the moors, sat on a bench and swallowed all these pills. Fortunately, I'd taken the wrong tablets and they didn't really have any effect. My life in recovery is 23 onwards. I've been in full-time employment, I've got a decent career, but I've relapsed almost every year. And the relapses have been very short-lived, but very damaging. Sitting here now, I've not had a bet or a drink for just over seven months. And life's like uh, much, much better. What the gambling clinic will do is start to bring gambling addiction in line with things like drugs and alcohol, but also I think crucially, help at the point of crisis. There's a lot of strength in identifying I've got a problem and I want help and I just think, you know, ask for help and, and with the clinic now, help is there.